Hi, my name is Brian Peterson, and I'm a board-certified vascular surgeon at the St. Luke's Heart and Vascular Institute. I'm here today to discuss two surgical options for the treatment of carotid artery disease. First, TCAR, or transcarotid artery revascularization, and secondly, CEA, or carotid endarterectomy. Most TCAR procedures are performed under general anesthesia through a small incision at the base of the neck just above the collarbone. Additionally, a large IV or venous sheath is placed in the femoral vein. Through the small incision, an arterial sheath is placed in the common carotid artery well away from the area of disease. The side port on the arterial sheath is then hooked up to a filter. That filter is then hooked up to the large IV or the femoral venous sheath. That difference between arterial pressure, which is very high, and venous pressure, which is very low, actually causes the blood to flow away from the brain, down through the filter, and back into the femoral vein. Having established flow reversal, a wire is used to cross the lesion and a stent is deployed, opening the vessel up. Any debris that might break loose with deployment of the stent doesn't travel north up to the brain, but because of the flow reversal, it's sucked through the sheath, filtered, and enters back into the femoral vein. Having successfully treated the lesion with the stent in combination with flow reversal, the arterial and venous sheaths are removed and the incision is closed with absorbable sutures placed just underneath the skin. Carotid endarterectomy, also performed commonly under general anesthesia, involves an incision made directly overlying the area of the disease in the carotid artery. Here, care is taken to dissect out the carotid artery away from the surrounding nerves and venous structures. Once the carotid artery is dissected out from the surrounding tissue, the patients are given a large dose of blood thinners and vascular clamps are placed on the arteries. The artery is then opened and the plaque or blockage is gently teased out from the artery. After removing the plaque, the artery is then flushed and repaired by sewing a patch onto the surface of the artery to prevent any further narrowing. Once the artery is repaired, the retractors are removed and the incision is closed with absorbable sutures placed just underneath the skin.